Hey guys, this is Shane Skate Media here, and I'm going to teach you how to do Final, uh, do Ramp Slow Mo and Final Cut Pro X. Uh, Final Cut Pro X is the newest editor Apple's released. Uh, it's really good and makes Ramp Slow Mo so easy. It, it makes it so much easier than any other editor. It it takes like two minutes instead of twenty. Uh, so let's get to it. All right, so you're gonna when you're in Final Cut Pro, you're gonna click File. Oop, sorry. I'm going to click File, New Project, and I'm just going to name it Test, and I'm going to save it. Um, and you're going to go to your imported clips, you have to import them from somewhere. Uh, I already have one selected, you're just going to click it, drag it to the timeline, and I'm going to zoom in on it on the bottom right. Um, now this is so much easier because you just click on it, and then you uh, click this Time Remap button up here, go down so you see speed ramp and go click from zero and this is weird um, but you can't change it you just have to deal with it I don't know why it's listed into four sections but it does so you're gonna take your first section and it'll say slow whatever percent click on this the little arrow next to it click normal S don't do that for the second section but uh, do, do it for the third and do it for the fourth normal and then uh, you're gonna have your slow-mo section here now you're gonna click on the arrow again and click change in source frame the square will pop up and then you're gonna drag it to where you want your ramp slow-mo to end um, I want it to end right here now you're gonna click your first section the normal 100% Click the arrow, click change in source frame, take the square and just drag it to where you want your ramp slow mo to start. So what you've just done now is you've uh, created where you want your ramp slow mo to start and end. So now you're pretty much done, except you just have to click on the clip. This is your last thing you have to do, click on the clip, uh, click the time remap button up here. And then it'll say preserve pitch with a check mark next to it. And this preserves the pitch of the clip and it doesn't make the ramp slow mo sound. So you're just going to click on it and it's going to unpreserve it because it default preserves it. So now you're going to have the sound and everything and it's going to sound good. Um, so now I'm going to play it for you. Yeah! Uh, it might be kind of laggy. You might not be able to see it. But uh, it does that with uh, Screenium. Yep, so that's the video. Uh, hope you like it. Subscribe to Shane Skate Media and G Code Skates, SK8s. Uh, and that's it. Thanks.